All right, hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name's Michelle Edhouse and today I am going to do a, another version of my Galaxy Pour with my big long tube. Now for those of you that, um, that have seen it, you may have been following the comments where we talk, where people have been talking about diff using different coloured blacks. Now today I'm going to be using Payne's Grey and it, I don't know if you can see that very well. Um, Payne's Grey has a blue tint to it, whereas previously I was using a um, the Mars Black, which is more of a brown black it's kind of a weird color actually um somebody suggested using lamp black uh i don't have a lamp black and uh so no we're not using that one um <laughs> i could go back to using my face acrylics um and that one is a um it's just black black doesn't even have a colour written on it. Look at that. Or am I going blind? Nope, doesn't have a colour. Oh, there it is. On the barcode. Black. But no, I'm not going to do that. I am going to stick with my Reeves colours. Uh, and I want to go with this one because it does have that blue tint to it. So I want to see what happens with that. And, um... The other thing that somebody suggested was perhaps um, getting a wash of, a, of colours and adding them in where the white was to, um, to add some colour. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just drip in a couple of drops of one of red and one of Maybe another colour. Mm, maybe a drop of green, actually. Just to give us um, something else happening in there. Now, for those of you that have been asking about where do I get my records from, um, I contacted a local record dealer and he gave me a box load of the ones that he was taking to the rubbish tip. Um, he he sorts them out, the ones he wants to keep, the ones he wants to keep to sell, and the ones that are good enough to go to a secondhand like junk store, like, um, and then the ones that are going to the tip. And these are out of the box that were going to the tip. So please know he has gone through them. They are scratched. They have no covers. They um, are unplayable. This one is Under the Boardwalk by the Drifters. How does it get any better than that? Under the boardwalk, out of the sun, under the boardwalk, we'll be having some fun. Yeah, I'm planning to have some fun. How about you? Hee <laughs> So, how do we do this? What we do is, uh, we are going to put Black, white, black, white, black, white, black, white, or rather Payne's grey, white, Payne's grey, white, Payne's grey, white, Payne's grey, white. Now last time there was 40 layers, 20, 44 layers, 22 of each. And uh, let's see what we create this time. So start out with a bit of Payne's grey. And white. Let's, oh, let's get this stick out of the way. Oh, and this is where I'm going to pause and I'm going to put in some Reno Art. pink, crimson red, and 
and then I'm going to put in just a dribble. This is Americana Festive Green. We're starting to seep out. Ooh. What's coming out of there? Ooh, good job I caught that. That is out of the tube of my white. Wow. Impressive. Have we got enough in there? Yes or no? Yes, no, a bit more. Okay. Let's see what happens. Okay, now as with any acrylic pour guys, never ever 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 gonna look the same. What I am aware of though is this very clear white blob in the middle. Last time I let it go and pulled it sideways. And that's how I ended up with a really nice, smooth piece. And I'm just using a clean finger to drag to a point in the middle there and there are a lot of bubbles a lot a lot a lot of bubbles I'm also seeing some silicon coming up and I am seeing some green <laughs> how does it get any better than this let us give it a bit of a torch to pop some of those bubbles and bring some more silicon to the top So that when we stretch it out, they can be all stretched and go big. Oh, there's a pop of pink. Just one. So we've got a little bit of green here. And there's one of pink there. Now... I'm gut feeling that I don't have enough paint on there. So, Just gonna give it a little bit more paint. And my first tilt is gonna be to join those bits of paint up. Now, I'm wondering how cool it would be if I could get that centerpiece to stay centered. As, as a clock with a centerpiece that's actually centered, that will be cool. <laughs> and I'm not expecting it to be. It would be very cool. What would it take? A 
I don't want to lose that green underneath, although it will probably pop back up again. So I'm just taking it around, trying not to lose any over the sides. So for those of you that have given this a go and are going, how do you get those lines, Michelle? It's um, by lifting up just enough so that the paint starts to come out, but it's the top of it gets brushed by the edge of your cup or tube or whatever you're using as your vessel. That's how those streaky bits get created. So you may notice that that whole row of black that I put on there, or Payne's Grey, as it was, um, has totally disappeared. It's totally folded underneath everything else. I'm just touching the sides and just making sure it comes all the way off to cover the edges. Oh, what was that? There's a lump of some description in there. Let's get that out. There's that last bit of that line of grey, so I'm going to bring that off to make sure that we've got a nice even looking thing. And let's see what we can do with regards to getting that centered ish. It's kind of got a bit of a spiral thing going on from how I've twisted it. If we can get that to be in the center that'll be cool now we've got a slight green tinge here we've got a little bit of pink through here don't seem to have any color on this side but it's just enough to give it something different I'm just using my fingers to try and gauge where the centre is. How does it look to you? Woohoo! One of the um, comments on the last one said it looked like a, um, a hurricane. And this one to me looks like you're looking down inside the hurricane. It's like, it's just not quite spinning quite enough, but wow. I really like this. This is funky. And it's definitely got a blue tinge to it, whereas the other one had a, a brown tinge. Um. Wow. Loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it. Okay, there's plenty of little air bubbles in there, so I'm just going to 
go back over and that'll give a, a few more <laughs> tiny stars so if you are doing these paintings and you're ending up with um, tiny holes in your dried one what's happened there is the air bubbles haven't popped until there was a top coat already creating a seal so then when the paint popped it doesn't close back over again and uh, you're left with a hole in your painting so if you're wondering what that's about that's what that's about yeah I'm gonna try and straighten that bit up a bit just by tipping that line over the edge there it goes and then I'm going to do the same on the other side just tilt it right back again and lose that so that swirl off the edge bit I'm looking to get rid of that Uh, you can tell it's the weekend. The boys are out on their motorbikes. Can you hear that? I live on quite a main road and on weekends you get all those peeps are out for a ride. Going past. Awesome, that's what I wanted. Right, can you tell the difference? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get you down and show you what I see. And uh, yeah, let's have a look. All right, so this is really the only patch over here that's got any color in it. So got little bits of green and little bits of pink. through those patches there sorry about the reflection and then as we come round it goes back just to being the midnight blue or Payne's grey whatever you want to call it and white Oops, sorry, fingers. And then we get right the way back round again and start to see some green peeping through. So I like it, it's got a lot more um, cells in it, I think the Payne's Grey actually had some silicon in it, uh, the pink and green definitely had silicon in it, so if the silicon was starting to rise up in the, ton in the tube then it will have gone through bits and made pathways and stuff as it left. So. Who knows? Let's see what it dries like. Back in a moment. All right, here it is, all dry. And as per with most of my paintings, most, I'll say most, not all, it has dried very similar to what we had before, what you saw before. Still only a couple of hints of color flicking out on that side but they just give an extra tinge to it. There's something 
it's not a hundred percent black and white it's like I'm sure you could write some amazing prose about the last dregs of the colors of life being still in the world or something blah blah but no I was just having fun that is for me what my art is about it's about having fun it's about playing with paint and chatting to you guys so how did I, how did I get so lucky um this here is what was left in the if it will focus for me because I now don't have a spare hand hey check it out use my nose to focus my phone um this was what was left in the cup and I just poured it out and uh, it did that I thought it was pretty so I think I'll probably get a pendant out of that one and tell me do you are you guys interested in my pendants because I can imagine they would post a lot more e easily I haven't been putting them up on my shop um, but I am happy to to do that if you guys would like would like to buy my pendants so that you can have a Mickey Art original um, totally happy to do that so let me know in the comments if having a Mickey Art pendant would be would be cool for you and uh, if so I can start popping them up on the shop all right I adore you how much fun can we all have and how much fun can we be in the world not just in our painting what if we could take the energy that of fun that we get from painting the energy of fun we get from watching others on youtube or playing in facebook groups and stuff and take that into the other parts of our lives i'm creating a um, program in my access you business at the moment and it's 42 sessions of committing to your life and today's session was all about that all about adding fun into your life and adding adding fun to everything you do so are you willing to choose that are you willing to be that and uh, what would be different in the world if we all added fun to our lives i adore you come join us on facebook um on the acrylic pouring for fun group what else is possible? Bye-bye.